Hey everyone, it's Holly from The Sewing Shop, and today I wanted to talk to you about BES4 Dream Edition. This is a software that we use at The Sewing Shop to make all of our embroidery designs and names and monograms. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the text in BES4 because there's just so much to it and it's really, really great. Before I do anything, I always, always, always pull up my hoop. So I say view, select hoop. And I say, hmm, maybe I'm going to use a 5 by 7 today. And I would go ahead and hit OK because I like to have a little visual reputation of what my hoop is going to look like and what my design will look like in the hoop. I also like to change my background color. Um, mine may look a little different than yours because I have my grid up. I love having my grid. And I always change my background color to um, a grayish color just in case so I can see my design a lot better than if it was on white. So if I wanted to do text, I have a lot of different options here. I can go to normal text to do a name. I can follow a path, vertical on a circle, monogram, and I will go more into detail about that in a minute. But first, let's try some normal text. So I'll click on the A on the top screen, which is under the home tab in BES4. And I will click in the center of my hoop where I want it. And then on the right hand side, your properties box will come up. You can do all of your work out of this properties box as well as some cute little buttons here. And I will show you what I'm talking about. So let's go ahead and type in what we want. Now keep in mind, if we have it all uppercase, it will show uppercase. If we have it all lowercase, it will show lowercase. So however we type it in right here is how it will show here. We can hit apply and our name will come up. Okay. Now we can see at the top, I changed mine to inches by going to um, view and preferences and changing it to inches there. So I can see at the top that it is almost three inches wide by a little over one and a half tall. I can also see here um, that I can change, for example, maybe I know I want a two inch tall name. So I can type in two. And now my design will come up two inches. Now, I do see where it says my height is not two inches, it's 3.16. Well, let's talk about this. You need to take into consideration the Y in my name. So this may be two inches, but then the Y is going to make my whole design a little bigger. So if your field you're bordering in is only two inches, make sure that the height up here matches because you have to think of things like Y's and J's and tops of T's and letters like that. So on our side, we have our properties, like I said, we can change our font. So first we have a font. I can drop down and scroll through my different fonts here. It has a little window where you can actually see what they are gonna look like. I'm not sure the exact number of fonts. I always forget, I'm bad with numbers, but I do know there is a lot of fonts. You can actually go to alpha mapping and put in fonts that you have bought in the past or on, you have on CDs, you can put it in here so you can actually type it out and use it. So one of my favorite fonts is Granio. So I can hit Granio, hit apply, um, and then I can go to height here, type in my two inches if that's what I'm wanting. Now, I can change my height on our properties, but remember I said you have some dots. So let's talk about these dots. They're very important. First, top left arrow. This one does size. It is going to keep your size and your width and keep it proportionate, okay? That's top left. Bottom right arrow on the other end here, it only does length. It does not keep it proportionate. Be careful because you don't want a little squishy, squishy name or you don't want to elongate it so it looks weird. So keep in mind that your bottom right arrow does length but does not keep it proportional. You have your slant at the bottom left, and you can slant it or italicize it, if that's what you want to call it. Your blue diamonds 
thing are in the in between each letter. That is your individual spacing. So you have the option on your right hand side to do a little bit of spacing. I'm just going to type in two so you can see and it puts spacing in between each letter. But your blue diamond does individual letters as in you have to get a little crosshair over it and you can do the spacing in between the two letters that you choose. So maybe my L is a little too far. I can pull it in. It really depends on the font that you may have to use this. And I have my mouse really big so y'all can see it. So it's actually harder for me to actually get my diamond there. But the diamonds are spacing. But you also have blue squares. The blue square allows you to grab the individual letter that it's on and you can move it around um, however you are wanting it. So we can kind of make my name kind of flow or go some fun way there. Okay. You have rotate in your top right hand. It is the circle. You can rotate it around if you need to. And you have your arc. So I can actually pull it up, maybe fish eye it at the bottom and the top. Okay, or if you wanted to arc it, you can do both like that. But remember how there was text on a circle? That would be a much cleaner way to arc your letters if that is what you're wanting to do. So now I have my name all crazy. How do I fix it? I go to my undo button. So it's my favorite button in BS4 because if you do anything that you don't like, you just click undo and we can go back to the beginning where my name looked nice and normal. All right. So sometimes it will tell you that you've created um, a satin stitch that's too wide. Okay. So that is when you have a satin stitch that it goes too wide back and forth that it may pull out easy and we don't want to do that. So I like to look at it in 3D and so we can see my satin stitch is a little fat so I want to do what's called fill stitch it. So I'm going to come down here to where it says fill. All right, I can take my little drop down button, turn it into a fill stitch. Now you have some options here which is fun. Now these look kind of normal but guess what? You can go from standard to carve and I can actually put in diamonds or stars or polka dots in my stitching and it will actually be 3D stitching where you can see or feel that texturized look. Now when I did that you can see my name is outside of my hoop so I need to make sure that when I am doing what I need to we can make sure that my name fits in the hoop so when I do have my shirt hoop ready to go that I know I have the right hoop in there. So that was regular text, all right? So I'm going to open a new page with the top left, and I can do text again. And we talked about art tech, arc, art curved text. So we can click same idea here. It shows you where it's going to go. I can come do my upper text, it's not my name, and do my actual lower text now. Hit apply and we'll see where this takes us okay now we have some bad stuff going on here because it is touching each other but that's okay because remember our diamonds handle our spacing so where my middle name is kind of spaced apart I can grab it and get it lined back up a little better so you still have your awesome little dots that do their jobs down here okay you have your spacing dots you can still grab letters individually if you wanted to um, but now we have something that is a little different than our normal text we have our um, circle where you can make it larger or smaller so I can actually come bring it in to make my circle tighter or kind of do it less of an arc there but now where I've brought my A and my M together, they're too tight. But anyways, I can change it there and I can add in a really fun design because BS4 actually has designs in here. So 
since I have my name, I can add in a little design, um, maybe a fun emoji that's laughing. I don't know. It's circular, so, you know, it fits our circle text. But whatever you want to do, whenever you're ready. Oh, so we have our circle text, but another really important one is our monogram. I use this one a lot, a lot. So same difference. You can come over here in your fonts, choose your different fonts over here in your properties tab. You'll be working in your properties tab most of the time. So cartoon is a good one. Um, my initials. I just type those in. Last name usually goes in the middle. And same difference here. Now notice my H may be lowercase, but that is how this font in particular is. Maybe we can go to something like this, see what it looks like. Nice. Same thing. We put it in our hoop. If I want to see, maybe I'm using a 4x4 hoop this time. I'll go to 4x4, hit OK. And now as long as it fits in that hoop, we should be good to go. And once you are ready to go, you'll go over to the B, hit save as, and make sure you save it to your USB or save it over to your machine if you have that capability. And make sure you save it in a PES format. Also, make sure you subscribe to our videos so you can learn more about BES for 